On Sunday, the Seahawks were back at Lumen Field in front of the best fans in the NFL for the first time since the 2019 season. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. On Sunday, the fans were back in the stands here at Lumen Field as the Seahawks took the field for their first mock game of 2021. And Pete Carroll and the players were pumped to welcome the 12s back. It was great to have them there. It was, uh, I, I can only imagine, you know, what it's like for them to be in there after a whole year of not being in the first, you know, the, the inaugural uh, new crowd and all that. And I, I hope that they enjoyed it. It was fun for our guys to have that, that whole setting. It was the number one offense versus the number two offense with Russell Wilson and co coming out on top 22 to three, but the W wasn't the main objective of the day. That was a really good day for us. That was what we wanted to get done. We wanted to get over here get the feeling of what it's like to be at Lumen Field and, and uh, the guys did a really nice job using their imagination to make this uh, a good event, make some sense for us as we come back in a couple weeks. So we accomplished a lot. Also, you know, we got to do all of the sideline press box to the player uh, communications that we needed to practice and, and uh, shoot, it was really good. It was, uh, I thought Shane was really impressive, uh, his command of what was going on and, and uh, it was really fun for me to really hear him uh, and, and I got to hear him doubled up because he had to go with the ones and they turned right back and go. So he did two games today, uh, which was great. So um, it was a good day. Uh, I thought we did a really uh, great job on offense, especially when the ones were out there we were really moving the ball well. Um, I think you guys saw how fast we were playing up, up at the line of scrimmage and everything else with the tempo and just using all of our packages, using all of our, our guys. We've got so much talent out there. I thought the line did a great job, a lot of protection in there. Uh, DK on that deep go ball was pretty amazing. We had some other key plays in there too as well. That were really sweet. Chris Carson ran it well. I thought it was a really efficient day with just everybody making plays and everybody touching the football so I felt really good about it I thought the defense looked good too and really good day I thought Shane called a great game um, we're really connected which is good and and uh, on the same page too a common theme we've heard from the offense all training camp is how Shane Waldron is focused on increasing the offensive tempo well I think the tempo you know uh, for us as an offense allows us to get to the ball you know do all the plays that we want to do um, you know it really attack the defense you know based on their coverages based on their looks but also too uh, it just puts pressure on them. You know, I think that full court press, I always kind of compare it to basketball. You know, it's like the Warriors back in the day when they're scoring all those points. It's like, get the rebound, go, kick it out. Next thing you know, you got all these shooters, all these guys who would score. You know, it's one of those things that really causes pressure on the defense. So for us, um, that's been really positive thing over the years. And I think that well, we really want to uh, be able to capitalize on that and put, you know, put the stress on the defense. And then also, you know, we, we can call everything. I can call everything at the line. So it's not like it's uh, – we have the whole playbook open, you know, in that sense. So, you know, that's a positive for us. I like the rhythm uh, uh, that we played with. Um, I, th I thought it was really obvious that we were moving the rhythm and, and adjusting it as we went. And that takes, that's what all of the work has been done between Shane and, and the offensive coaches and the offensive players, and particularly Shane and Russ, you know, and both of them felt really good about what we were able to do today. We did a lot of stuff, you know, we didn't just play it real, just vanilla. We did a lot of stuff inside of the, the mentality of it. It was really uh, fun to see that. With just a few more weeks before the Seahawks take the field for the regular season, Pete Carroll and Wilson agree that the team knows the offense and would be ready to go tomorrow if the season were to start. Uh, I think we're, we're ready to roll. I mean, I wish, I wish we could play tomorrow, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, we have, we have a little bit wild, you know, a little ways to go here, but we're definitely focused. Um, guys are zoned in. Our defense is looking really good, too, so we're, we're battling every day. It's just been a great challenge, and guys have been doing great. The rush looks good, and so our guys, are, you know, are having a battle every day. Receivers are making plays. I mean, DK and Tyler look uh, better than ever. You know, uh, having Gerald out there, too, and he can really get open and do some great things in the, in the passing game. Disley and Colby um, have been exceptional. I've been trained with them all, all off season, so we've been ready to roll, too. And, uh, and then our running backs, I mean, it's just – I mean, obviously, Chris Carson's one of the best in the game. Um, to have him back this year and, and have him rolling, feeling good, is, is a really good thing for us. So I think that we have all the pieces that we want, you know, in terms of playmakers and just trying to really make plays, and uh, they've been exceptional. To get to this game, this, this one right here, to get to this game, we have, we have everything available to us that we need to play games. And so uh, now it's, it's tweaking stuff as we go. But that's part of the, why we have this as a goal to get to this point where we could no matter what the situation is we have preparation that'll take care of it but there's still stuff but we right now we're not in the mode of, of trying to add more and more and more that's not it we're trying to get really good at what we're doing and i was really fired up today because the you can't tell but the expense the expanse of things that, that our guys utilized really in the last two days yesterday was a really important day for us also out there and we did a lot of really good situation work um it's called for the installation to be complete and so at this point in, in my mind we're we can go. 
The Seahawks weren't the only ones on the field Sunday. Following the Mont game, local active duty military took part in USAA's Salute to Service boot camp. They participated in a 40-yard dash, QB arm challenge, and a three-cone shuffle, just to name a few. Prior to the combine, the military guests got a VIP Seahawks training camp experience. As for the Seahawks players, well, they get Monday off, but they will be back at the VMAC for practice on Tuesday. Their first preseason game coming up this Saturday in Las Vegas against the Raiders.